Hello everybody, welcome to Struck Accord Firewood. What I wanted to tell everybody is uh, about every 15 years or so, at least that's how long it's been since this, I have my chimney professionally cleaned and then my stove gone over, uh, just for safety aspects. One of the things they found was the baffle uh, at the top of the stove is getting a little bit beat up um, and they suggested to uh, replace that. So what I did was, I don't trust anybody's work. And anytime I ever have somebody work on the house, that's why I do most things myself. Anytime I have somebody work on the house, I feel like they're scamming me, they're replacing parts that don't need to be replaced. And it, it just ends up always costing me more money. It's a compounding of things. Um, so what I did was uh, I talked to the stove place where I bought it, um, Bowman Stoves up in, uh, I guess it would be Lancaster. And... Um, they suggested that 15 years is a long time to go with the baffle not being changed. So when their price came in, I was a little bit sticker shocked. It was $510 to replace this baffle from the people that clean my chimney. So when I called Bowman Stoves, uh, they said the part was like $175. So I decided I'm going to do it on my own. Uh, and while I'm doing it, uh, there's a... Uh, the piece that you're paying $175 looks like a $10 piece, to be honest with you. But the on top of that baffle, there is a piece of, it's like a fire blanket, or as we call it, the trades rotten cotton or, or uh, mineral wool or something. Um, so what that does is uh, that helps, it doesn't burn, it keeps it down, and I'm sure that that's destroyed as well um, on the top of it. So the tools you're going to be needing, uh, as always, I got my little DeWalt 12-volt. Uh, light. This has saved me more times than I can remember. Got a little furniture hammer, some needle nose pliers. You got your baffle right here and your little fire blanket. I have caulk uh, right there, cement. Um, it is black furnace cement. I think it's good to 2,000 degrees. And basically you put that on the baffle and then you roll out the fire blanket so when you're putting the baffle in it doesn't fall off. Um, anyway, so Price included with the fire blanket and the baffle, I'm just under 200 bucks. So if I do this and do it correctly, which I, I know how to do it, but if I do it correctly, I'll save myself $310. And to me, the 15 or 20 minutes it's going to take me to do this is definitely worth the price. So it is a little bit of uh, a pain in the ass, but we'll get it done. So thanks. Stay tuned. Okay, I was able to break it free. Let me just show you here. So there's a little detent in the back. I'm sorry about the film quality. It kind of sucks working in a stove, and I'm filming this by myself, so that sucks too. So basically, these will start to come out. And see that thing that just fell? This is the thing that holds it. So basically, this thing here goes into this groove and then this little detent right here you can see it goes into get a light back up see that little hole up there where the light shine in the small hole not the bigger one the bigger bigger ones for the baffle so that little detent holds that in and then it holds up all these uh fire tubes okay now i'll go like this so you can see oh basically they go like that and they just come out so what I do is I number them with a magic marker that was the suggestion of the wood burning guy that sold it sold me the stove so they're all numbered but when I take them out I'm gonna put them right in line with each other on the the hearth so they come out pretty easy and you can't screw them up, right? Because this side has to cut out. See it? I don't know if it makes a, a difference to what number they're order, but I put them in there anyway. And every one of these, when the groove is down, which this piece then slides into it to hold it, that makes all your holes line up. So I numbered these. One, two, three, from front to back. You can go first, second. You can go from back to front. Just remember what the hell you're doing. All right, that was it to take it to take out the fire tubes. You'll see the baffle up here. See it? So let's see how bad it is. 
should just pull out. Oh. Stove guy wasn't kidding. All right. That there's my fire blanket. That should be all one piece. Looks like he just laid it there. So let's knock this over here. Get that fire blanket on the hearth here. But this here is my baffle. So it is kind of shitty. You can see it's broken in edges. There's a hole through it here. Um, so yeah, it needed to be replaced. $510. Get out of here. So I got the new one. I'm going to open up that. I'll stick it right up top here. I haven't opened this yet, so I'm hoping it's the right size. If not, I'll trim it. This stuff here, I'm sure, is going to be itchy because it's a fire blanket. That's not bad, size-wise. I think what I'll do is, uh, I think I'll just leave it long. So one of the reasons they have the cement is they want you to take this just so the fire blanket doesn't fall and you're putting a little bit on here so it all kind of stays one piece put that down there I don't know if you're going to be able to see this when I put it in let's see if we can get this camera angle kind of okay we'll try it here Wish I had my young, older one here to video. All right, so here's your fire blanket with your new baffle. And it should go. Let's see what we got. It's one of them things where you gotta go caddy corner, I guess. And again, don't worry about getting the blanket dirty. This is a wood stove. Everything's dirty. So I think I'm going to go in back first. Try it that way. Maybe I'll be able to get it and then turn it. And then once you're halfway up, get the back corner up. All right. And then basically what I did was I just centered it. So you guys, just so you guys can see it. That's it right there. All right. It's just centered. And that's it. And that's where your fire goes. And everything should be good. You got your blanket up there. Now, again, the last one lasted me 15 years. Okay, so I'm going to put all this back together again. And again, it just goes back together again. Just like it started. All right. So, what did that take me to take it out? 10 minutes, if that. So, start, I start in the back, so we're going to go, baffle on the left, or fire rod on the left side, fire tube, whatever you want to call it, with the cut down, next one, fire tube, cut down, and I think what I'll do is I'll leave that cut there. All right, next one, fire tube, right down. So it's like a Lego piece, all right? You're just putting shit together. And I don't have to assemble these every day in a factory. Oh, but if I had, I would. So here's your piece here. This piece goes in this little hook here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a little hook up in here. 
goes in there and then you just got to remember and make sure that every one of your baffles that little slot lines up because it has to go in a detent so you might have to pull them out a little bit and fuck with them right like that and of course it's the last one that gives me a problem So, I have my little trusty furniture hammer. Just trying to get it in this detent. And we're in. And that's it. And then I just put that cotter pin back in. So, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. I'm looking at my timer here. Maybe 20, 25 minutes. And we're totally done putting that in. If the video quality sucks, I apologize again. I'm here by myself trying to work on a stove and video and show you guys what's going on. So that's it. There's, there's not a whole lot to it. The cotter pin goes back in. And I just saved myself $310 in 20 minutes. So uh, I make decent money, but I don't make that kind of money. So thanks. Like and subscribe. I appreciate it. And hopefully I'll get another video going tomorrow. Thanks. All right, so it's all back together. What I did was I did take the furnace cement and anywhere that it looked like uh, furnace cement has been chipped off uh, due to me overloading this thing with logs. Um, I just filled in where it would have went and used my uh, old fashioned putty knife here and smoothed it all out. Um, not putting everything back because it takes uh, an hour for the, the furnace, uh, furnace cement to dry. Uh, but like I said, um, working on your wood stove on a Saturday while your while your family's down the shore is not uh, not sexy at all. But what is sexy is saving myself three hundred dollars to put that towards a gun. So that that's what makes it sexy. All right. So if you like this video, like and subscribe. I realize that not everybody's going to have a Hearthstone um, Mansfield stove, uh, but what I want you guys to uh, understand is. Just because somebody gives you a price on something, these people are not brilliant people. You can do it yourself. Save the money. Don't worry about uh, anything else. There's YouTube videos, plenty to Google on how to do it. Um, I don't know about the Hearthstone uh, Mansfield, uh, but that's about it. I mean, you want to save money where you can so you can put it towards things that you like to do. So uh, that's the, really the purpose of this, and, and just to see how easy it is to do something that they would charge you $510 for is ridiculous, all right? So um, don't be afraid to try something. Don't be afraid to, to, to do something and ask around. Ask a lot of people. Like, I didn't know. For all, all I, I know, they, they were lying to me about the, the baffle, but they were actually, actually right about the baffle. Uh, so it doesn't pay... Um, to get your chimney cleaned every year by a professional when you can do it yourself and you know what you're doing. Uh, but when it comes to stove work, if you're unfamiliar, let them clean your stove. Let them do the chimney. It was $219, I think, for the, uh, the entire cleaning. So if you really look at it, $219, I just saved myself $300, so I'm still up. All right? Still up $81 from, uh, from the cleaning and the other compared to what they wanted to do just to replace that baffle. And it literally took me about 15 minutes, all right? And I took my time. Um, that's about it. Till then, like and subscribe. This is Todd and Charlotte saying goodbye. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna open up the door and stove all the way out so it's out of my way. This thing then comes off. It makes it easier for me. I'll put that over here. Okay, I'll get my light. The light, the light's really good. All right, you got your rechargeable battery here, your 12 volt battery that plugs in. This here is adjustable, turns on like that, and it's also got a magnet. Perfect for in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand it just like that. 
So what I want to show you is what we're doing here. This might be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get the angle. Let's see if I can If you look up top here, there's a cotter pin. That pin pulls out. If you look up top there, that that gray thing right here, if I could get a good angle on it for you. That there, that's your baffle. Okay? To show you what it looks like, and you're gonna shit when you see $170 some dollars. <clears throat> that's the new one. It looks like a piece of half-inch gypsum board, but it's definitely not gypsum. So, you know, for safety, my family lives here. I don't want nothing to happen, so. And that's Char. She's our border collie. One of the two. Um, so that pen basically comes out. This whole thing will slide out, and every one of these tubes will come out. And when they come out, then that'll expose the baffle. So right off the bat, you're going to need your needle nose pliers. And I started to, to pull this out, so it should come out relatively easy. Just to show you guys. It wasn't so easy when I originally started to pull it out. But I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing here. So if you look here on this right side, each one of these, I'll call them fire tubes, has a cutout in it. And this thing basically holds them in, okay? So what you do is, this thing should go. Let's see. 